Well, I gotta say, these last, it's like three months, it's been an eternity at this point uh, that I've taken this dive into a world that's beyond comprehension at this point. About three months ago, almost four, I'd say it's about four months because I started looking into more of the content that was behind the furry fan. Nothing more than amazing to watch. There's a lot of content that tends to be a little bit more negative with it because it perpetuates stuff that is out there in the fandom just so much that uh you know you get a lot of comments i've gotten a few comments saying you know de degenerate or or just calling people very nasty things but ultimately i've gotten these comments throughout my whole time on youtube i've been on youtube for over five years like this is nothing new to me this it, it, i'm a seasoned veteran at this point and i'm new to the new to new experiences i you know i keep an open mind when it comes to new things i always have and i always will and one of the things that we have dove into with this channel is talking about how corporations want to put people on pillars but they're not doing it in a way that is conducive to business they're not doing it in a way that actually pushes creativity and pushes and does something more with it and that is what i have found in this fandom is Every single person has a creative mind. They have a different aspect, a different look at life. And because of that, it's been nothing more than amazing. It's truly inspiring. Signed into Twitch about four months ago at this point. Three months ago, I started following a few people. And now look where it's gone. We recently celebrated 3,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm over 100 followers well past 100 followers on Twitch right now. And if you haven't gone over to Twitch to follow me over there, um, every Friday night we've been, uh, we've kind of been doing a community sort of night at this point. And I think it's going to be, it's just going to snowball. I think there's a lot of people that can start joining us and a lot of people that just ultimately want to chill and, and have good vibes. And that's what this is all about. The whole retrospect of doing this type of this type of content this type of thing it's been an amazing journey now what does that really mean well i i'm still the same person i still have all the ideas in my head where things really went and the commentary stuff that i've done i still stand by a lot of that because in a lot of ways it's the way things have been knocked down uh, we're all gamers in the long run i am a true gamer at this point i am living the dream of being a true gamer at this point putting on full body trackers putting on a headset sitting here looking at myself in 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 the camera right now as i record this just going wow this is kind of neat this is absolutely amazing i get to wiggle and shake and that is what it's all about just having a better expressive version of myself and does that mean i'm going away no it just means i'm evolving this is the future this honestly this is the future if you go on youtube and look up vr chat music videos they will show you a plethora of things that people are doing with minimal technology now this is home technology think of this years ago back in the 80s 90s you get a console you get a super nintendo you it becomes a showpiece in your home and it becomes the family network well now we're at a point where full tracking and vr setups are relatively no more than your gaming pc it all depends on the level of involvement that you want to go and i'm at the point where i am more than happy to the step into this and be fully involved i am meeting so many more people i haven't met this many community members of a community in my life you know there's things like twitchcon there's thing there used to be like the youtube meetups which you know i i when i first started the channel i went one or two and they never really did anything for me the it, it was you could sit there and do so much more but no one really had that sense of community and that is the big difference with what i'm finding with the the furry fandom the community is at large they're everywhere your your neighbor your your, your school bus driver 
your mechanic, your electrician. I know a few. <laughs> your IT specialist, your doctor. The, there is so many people that are in the fandom that do amazing things. Hell, lawyers, probably a judge somewhere, probably a police officer. It's absolutely insane to think of how many people have dove into this fandom and how it's become even more than that. It's an extension of everyone's lives and that extension is all I ever wanted. It's all I ever really wanted when it came to content and now I have a means to the end. I have a means to make more content that is just more entertaining and, and just absolutely fun to do. I love sitting here, being able to shake, being able to wiggle these ears. <laughs> it's, it just makes me laugh and, and smile. And, you know, I'm coming out of my shell. I, I, <laughs> that's, that's the funny thing about all of this. You know, I've sat here in front of YouTube for a long time. I, I sat there with my face everyone knows who I am at this point that, that cares to know who I am online. And now I just find myself deep in the enthralls of just being in the fa in this fandom and it's nothing, it, it's inspiring. And what more can a person really want? Some days I, I wake up, you know, I, I don't sleep well. I, I just... I just don't have time to sleep well. That's been part of it. You know, I stay up. I Right now, I'm meeting a lot of new people. I'm meeting a lot of streamers. I'm meeting a lot of people just to, to find my interest. And I have found that there's a lot of people out there that have the same interests as me. You know, a lot of them are up. A lot of us are and, and sit there and look at the video games and... You know, you, you, you sit there and you look at Twitter and look at how it perpetuates just a negative space overall. And that negative space, I have cast it out. I, I don't want it anymore. I, I really don't want it anymore. Things have just enlightened. Recently, I lost my job, but that's something that happens with the season. That's, that's something that I've dealt with being in the trades the whole time. You, you, you work yourself out of a job all the time. So is it really that big of a surprise? Yes and no. I'm also looking at other options up right now because I'm at, I'm at a point where I know the type of work I do is great. I've done absolutely amazing work, I, but I'm at the point where I just, I feel used and abused and I'm just done with it, right? I want to do something more and it would be great to make content on, on the regular. Oh, I do make it on the regular, but it would be great to be able to do this full time or something like that. But I don't, it doesn't pay the bills. I have, I have a lot of bills. <laughs> and when I'm off from work, it, 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 it's tough. It really is tough. So, hey, you know, if you want to support the channel, I, I, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I could desperately need it at this point. But at the same time, I have enough sitting in a piggy bank to, to last until the next job. And that's what I do. In all honesty, that's what I do. It also helps that I, we're, we're finally getting a lot of other things coming our way because of things that we have dealt with in our lives. But I digress. That's more about me. That's not what we're here for. We're here about the fan and we're here about everyone else. There's people, if, if you have any inkling, if you find any of this fun and you're sitting here going, looking at online and you're, you're sitting there just saying, hey, that looks like they're having a lot of fun. It, sure, he's in VR. I'm not in VR. Oh no, what can I do? Well, first off, VR chat is free to use and you don't need a headset to be in VR chat. It's the ones like me or like many others, once you dive into something like this, it becomes something more. It becomes an extension of yourself and you want to do more things. I'm always looking for more ideas. I'm always looking for more things to talk about. And honestly, I can sit here all day and just talk, as you can see from my videos. I, I've done a lot of just talk, talk videos in the last little bit. Being able to sit here in the avatar state, being able to just look at beautiful scenery on a nonstop basis. I can go anywhere in, in VR chat and literally feel like I've done something more with my life. There, there's worlds here. There, if you're 
honestly, I might try this because there are some worlds here that, that are meant to help you sleep. There's worlds here to, that are to pick you up and be more inspired. There's worlds here that just are cute, cuddly, and adorable. And that's what a lot of this is. It's, you know, I grew up watching Disney. I grew up with a lot of cartoons. I, 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 I was the kid, I was that kid that would wrap himself up in a comfy blanket, put it over my head on a plus 30 day. Yes, plus 30 day. My parents thought I was nuts. And I would sit there. Well, I guess it wouldn't be my parents. It was my grandmother at the point. <clears throat> but they, she thought I was nuts. She's like, how can you sit there in a blanket all wrapped up and it's this hot out? Like the house is hot. Why are you sitting in that blanket? You know why? It was cooler under the blanket. And it wasn't so much that it was cooler under the blanket. It was more cool to sit there and cozy to be wrapped up in the blanket. And that's kind of what this is. That's kind of what this feels like. You're wrapped up in your blanket. You get, you get to be snug, wrapped right up. And you get to have a lot of things. You get to have a lot of things. And a lot of fun comes from it. Anyway, have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. I will see you again very soon.